What's on uh, Santa Claus' list for uh, for Richard? A new crack pipe. Good morning, Eddie. wondering where did Richard get that junkie voice remember we used to pose that question to Richard where'd you get that junkie voice from he never answered Roger that Roger that all right but uh, he never came clean about it he never came clean. He like uh, always uh, beats around the bush. Good morning there, CK. Good morning, bad boy. You should have heard these three yesterday, man. 
single-handedly, I was ripping these three bitches up yesterday, man. And they talk about we need to hold hands. Uh, it was sad, man, if you watch yesterday's video. And you know the biggest, the biggest uh, exploit out here? How I exposed, how I exposed little Pedro, right? He claims uh, he's going to reveal his location. It's funny that his videos were blank, totally black. The only thing he shows that he was in his personal vehicle, so big shit. So whether you're in your diesel truck or your personal vehicle, you have stations set up in both situations. What a junkie. Pedro, you'll never come clean. You're just like your lucky boyfriend, Crackhead Richie. Oh, look, 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 look. You never pan the camera, you lying little bitch. I was tearing you up. RuPaul from Channel 6 and Crackhead Richard. And you gotta love it, man. Hey, uh, hey, bad boy, it's so funny, man. Hey, bad boy, it's so funny that I do it with a just a barefoot radio and a 108-inch whip, a 9-foot whip, and these boys. I mean, I, I copied their videos, I checked it out, and uh, Cracky couldn't take me out. It's funny. He says he was having a conversation with the crackhead, yet when I uh, checked out 206 videos, crackhead was nowhere in sight. I mean, there was some uh, noise in my background, but uh, he wasn't taking me out. He claims he was uh, having a conversation over me. It's uh, so funny. If you're going to lie, why reveal it on your video gates? 206, you're done out here, little Pedro. And uh, as far as 127, Crackhead Richard, you're done also. And uh, you keep on asking for re uh, reinforcements. That's not going to help you. You can get RuPaul from Channel 6 or whoever else you want. But I noticed uh, they're like uh, Charlie's Angels, those three. RuPaul, Crackhead127, and uh, little uh, Pedro over there. Crooked Nose Pedro. I'm going to call those three Charlie's Angels. And the funny thing, hey, uh, bad boy, you know me. I don't go to Channel 6, fuck with anyone. But it's funny how people come here jumping on my on my Johnson, man. I was like, wow. I don't know that cat from a hole in the wall yet. He's calling me names and want to be in my show. And I was crushing that bitch too, man. I was crushing him to Jersey, to the Bronx. It's funny, man, how you got more and more people want to be in the show, man. They want to be a star on my show, but I keep telling these uh, cock snatchers, you know, if you want to be in my show... You got to pay the price, and there's some pain to feel. You got to feel the pain, and I'm not talking about cocaine, but you will feel it in your membrane. <laughs> But it's funny, because you hear every excuse little Pedro makes. Oh, look, I'm not in my diesel truck. Yeah, but you're still in a, a vehicle with a lot of amplification. And you're not revealing your location, you lying little bitch. Pedro is a liar. He'll never reveal. He'll never reveal his location. He'll never pan the camera. Yeah, he'll do it after the fact. When the, when the show is over a half hour later, he'll show himself in his truck yard. But uh, I don't know, man. It, it's like why point fingers at other people calling people uh bridge talk is when he does it himself unbelievable but you know this time he could go on the bridge and he still can't hold his hand with uh, crackhead 127 crack you had crackhead richard even when he's on the bridge i'm causing a lot of problems in his ears with a barefoot radio man look no amp no two pill no four pill no beast just a radio and a 108 inch whip a nine foot steel whip man that's is that said or what man no Antron, no IMAX, no bass antenna. 
I'm just stating facts and I'm just making a comparison, not, not making excuses. See, that's the difference. These bitches don't understand. I'm doing it barefooted. They have to run all kind of power in their vehicles. And they can remotely go to different locations and cheat. Yeah, 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 I'm in the truck yard. Yeah, I'm in Newark. Yeah, he's on a bridge. Unbelievable. I got to have a day. I got to have a day every so often. You know, like when you have uh, coffee breaks, you know, you know, when you when you are an author of a book and you have a bestseller, we got to have a day where the cats from the lower deck, we get together and sign some autographs for these bitches out here. Yeah, because it seems like uh, Crooked Nose Pedro and uh, Crackhead Richard, they want my autograph because they're always sweating me when I'm at work, when I'm off the key. They always got something to say, and when I come out here, they all start crying like little babies, man. I just don't know what's going on. Anyway, let me get my Java. Actually, I'm working on my second cup. So, uh, bad boy, I'll be back. And I know I'm going to hear a lot of whining and crying. And like I told Pedro yesterday, I gonna have a, I got a box of Kleenex, I got a box of Kleenex, and I got some douche for him. I got some Summer's Eve so he can clean that ass. <laughs> Roger, I'll be back, man. I'm just gonna get some more Java. And you said carry is normal with this uh with this temporary antenna, right? Everything is all right. You don't hear the junkie or Pedro, anyone in my background. It's clean, a clean wipeout. Yeah, Roger. Well, it's it's rooftop. I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm not gonna say it's uh, inside, but it is rooftop, but it's uh, not elevated. You can't really, you can't even tell it's up there. But uh, like I said, it's just a temporary little. I just mounted it. I just mounted it to a little pipe there and uh, just threw it up there temporarily, you know, until uh, I get something to replace it. You know what I mean? That could wait till the spring or maybe even sooner. But uh, yeah, no amp, not no power in line whatsoever. Just this little. Uh, barefoot radio man and got these bitches crying huffing and puffing unbelievable anyway i'll be right back let me get some more java they call me enforcer 250 oh yeah enforcer 250 somewhere around the lower deck and i just got down let me throw let me throw a little beep in there for my fans out there
Warrior Force is getting his ears plugged by his neck. I'm a leader. The fuck you worried about it for, huh, bitch? You little worried faggot. You little worried Portuguese faggot. What you worried about it for? Me and you, Joe. Motherfucker always worried about somebody else's shit. Yeah, they still have
Break them down, break them down. You know this crackhead, you know this crackhead Richard is like a, a hound, he smells cock out here. You notice that he's got his nose in the air, whenever he hears a man's voice he starts commenting. You notice how they hold each other's hands, those two fags? I didn't hear nothing, Richard. Richard, uh, I didn't hear nothing. Uh, 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 you know, I got a gay son named Yanni. Uh, 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 Richard, help me. Uh, uh, 314, why is 250 always picking on me? That ain't right. Yeah, he's got a, his son's a transgender and he's embracing that. Because he was a fag. He is a fag. He got his lunch taken from him as a kid. He got slapped the fuck up every day. And now he's embracing his homosexual Yanni. You know what they say, like father, like son. Or should I say, like bitch, like transgender. And then you got a guy, and I gave a public warning yesterday. I gave a public warning, do not let that junkie 127, Crackhead Richard, have any kids sit in a Santa Claus lap anywhere in Unica and Clarkson. That guy's a known pedophile. Just watch the videos that he puts out of teenagers on stilts, and he, he got comments on their body parts. You do not want that junkie 127 with any children sitting on his lap. He said, oh, I have people, I have, uh, I have uh, children and women have with a smile on their face. What a fucking, I, I tell you, man, if I would see something like that, I would have that bitch in handcuffs in two seconds. But, uh, yeah, it's all good, man. We like to expose that junkie, Richard. He's just another junkie. He's dying of AIDS. He has nothing to lose. Thanks for that rock away. Expose the crackhead. Do another video game. Show your location again. And, uh, man, that's shame on him. How could a grown-ass man like Pedro lie after lie after lie? He claims he showed his location yesterday. If you look at all his videos when he was in his personal vehicle, it was a black, black screen. What does that tell you? He does not want to reveal where he's at. The only thing he showed me that he was in his personal vehicle. So what? You've got a big amplifier in there too. So it doesn't prove anything. You're just a lying little bitch, Yanni. Look, I call him Yanni because uh, I, I, I get confused between him and his gay son. They both look alike. Oh, shit. Hey, oh, nine. You know why they drive through and say that? Because they in the mobile. They won't say that shit to your face. Yeah, when Pedro's talking about beasts, he's talking about what's in my pants. He wants my beast, you know? That's why That's why if I ever stepped in front of uh, Crackhead or Pedro, the first thing they would do is jump for the beast, which is in my behind my zipper. <laughs> like, excuse me, sir, uh, can I uh, get the beast autograph? And then he's trying to pull my zipper down, like, get out of here, crackhead. That's all they're gonna get. That's all they're gonna get. They're gonna get spat on. Look, like he's got to talk about. He's got to talk about someone's uh, someone's spouse. I don't. I don't know. I didn't mention his wife. Did anyone hear me mention his wife? I don't know, man. The guy right away wants to jump. 
make up stories about someone who uh, who uh, they claim they know or met or seen. I don't know. I don't know any 400-pound Melissa. I don't know. Do you know that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They, they say uh, I, I got a spouse that's 400 pounds. I throw it on the stairs for insurance. Wow. I, I'm, I must be throwing it on the stairs on the regular because I'm always getting new gifts from Santa Claus. Wow. That, that must be some insurance policy. What? Every, uh, every six months you can throw someone down the stairs and get paid? If that's the case, I think there'd be a lot of handicapped bitches out there. Yeah, because crackhead, that Richard, cannot put his hands on a man. He's got to beat up on a woman, put her in a coma, then go to jail for five years and become a whore that he is today. That's why if you notice... If you notice in the morning, he always says he's like he likes his uh, coffee like like he likes his men, black and strong. You notice that? I'm mean, not black and strong, and you know he says you know constantly like you know he can't hear you, right? Meanwhile, he's telling the fag two o six that you say he's rich talking. <laughs> How the fuck you gonna say you fucking moron? You don't hear nobody, but you're telling everybody word for word. What you said. Yeah, I know, I know. But if you look at any of uh, Paige Old's gates yesterday, I, I crushed Richie. I crushed Richie in all his gates, and he's there crying. I don't know, man. Uh, you're right behind me. He's, you're in there. You're in there. And then the only time the only time he might hear his crackhead boyfriend is when I unkey. So they're basically in between. He'll get a word in every now and then, act like he's having a conversation with the junkie. And then his, uh, you got the other sidekick that came from Channel 6, RuPaul. He tries, he tries to come up with some bone crusher bullshit. I clearly crushed him to Jersey, to the Bronx, to Queens. It's hysterical, man. Three of them. Three against one. And I still came out the victor. Look at these. Three Charlie Angel bitch asses. Anyway, I got to go. Let me get out of here. Got to head out the door. Bad boy, you have a good, uh, good morning. CK, do your thing, brother. And uh, get these bitches some uh, Kleenex, and uh, and for Pedro, and his little uh, his little gay uh, trans trans transgender son Yanni, you got to get that boy a pair of panties, man, a panties, and and get Pedro a bobo because he does a lot of crying. He's like a big baby with a broken nose. Anyway, I gotta go, man. Seven three. They call me a force of two five zero, somewhere around the lower deck with my barefoot radio. And my 108 inch, 108 inch, 9 foot steel whip, and I'm smashing those bitches out there. And I just got down. Please, get it some time, folks. That you ragged the sisters always got a motherfucker.